Generally, people that are suffering, uh, there is nobody in the world, those who are materially engaged, can say boldly that I am not suffering. Is there anybody? I challenge anyone. Can anyone say that I am not suffering? Huh? So everyone must be suffering. Huh? No, no. Why these anasin tablets are advertised? Painkiller. Because they are suffering. Uh, and not in this country, but in the Western countries, America, one takes at least one dozen tablets daily for mitigating suffering. Uh, tranquilizer, these, that, so many. They are advertised and they take. At last for sleeping. Uh, because they are more advanced. Uh, we are less advanced. That, uh, therefore we are satisfied only one table and anasin. Eh? <laughs> but they are not satisfied with one table. There are dozens of tables. I have seen it. It is advertised in a subway a train. So many tablets are advertised. The suffering must be there. Uh, anyone who has got this material body has accepted suffering. That's a fact. But foolish people, they cannot understand. Uh, he thinks I am got very fatty and beautiful body. Hmm. He is satisfied. The dog is also satisfied. He does not know that this dog's body is greater suffering than human body. The hog's body is greater suffering than the human body. But everyone is thinking, I am happy. 
This is called Maya. Illusion. Ah. You go to a hospital, a man is lying down on the bed, and if you are, how are you? Yes, I am well too. What is well? So there cannot be anyone without suffering. That is not possible. There are three kinds of suffering. Adhyatik, Adhibhotik, Adhidvaivit. Adhyatik means pertaining to the body and mind. I have got headache today. I have got some pain here in the back. Uh, my mind is not very much settled up today. I cannot talk with you. These kind of sufferings are called adhyatik, pertaining to the body and the mind. And there are sufferings adhibhotik. Just like at night, unnecessarily, the dogs bark and we cannot sleep. This is called adhibhoti, suffering imposed by other living entities. The mosquitoes, the bugs, uh, then enemies, uh, suffering. Uh, just like some of our enemies, they are hindering, sanctioning this temple. So this is called adhibhoti. And besides that, big, big sufferings there are. Then Adi Doivik, accident, which you have no control. No sufferings you have control. That is not possible. Uh, there is famine, there is pestilence, there is no rain, there is ex- excessive heat, excessive cold. These, they are called Adi Doivik. Uh, uh, earthquake. So many. So, uh, this is the reminder that you rascal, you are thinking, you are very happy in this material world. What you have done about this suffering? Uh, Mura. Uh, they think uh, this is our life, it doesn't matter. Uh, besides that, there is uh, very grave suffering that is birth, death, old age, and disease. So where is your happiness? But because we are under the spell of māyā, we are thinking this position is very nice. Let us enjoy life. This is their enjoyment. So one has to tapanti vividha stāpā Vividha, multi. Vividha means many. Uh, tapanti vividha stāpā na etān madhagata cita saha. Those who are Krishna conscious, they, you can now, you cannot say that they are not suffering. They are suffering, uh, but not so acutely. They know. Uh, therefore, we have begun this sadhus symptoms, titiksava, tolerant. Uh, everyone is tolerant. One has to tolerate. Uh, but a sadhus toleration, an ordinary man's toleration, is different. Uh, <coughs> sadhus toleration is not so acute because a sadhu knows that he is not this body. Uh, there is a Bengali Vaishnav song. Deha smriti nahi ja samsar bandhan kahata. If you understand properly uh, that I am not this body, uh, then although there is suffering, uh, you will not feel very much. Although we are now absorbed with this body, bodily suffering uh, are there. Just like the example that you have got a car and 
there is some accident. So one who is too much absorbed with the thought that this is my car or I am car, he suffers more. But if one knows that I am not this car, all right, there is some accident, it can be repaired or you can it. That will matter. It is a question of absorption of the thought. The materialistic person, because they are like animals, he suffers more. And for the devotees, as it is advised in the Bhagavad Gita, Matras Parashastra Kontiya Sitosna Sukhadukkada Agama Apainya Anitya Tang Titikhasa Bharat. Krishna says to John that these material sufferings are just like the sufferings of seasonal, seasonal suffering. In summer season also you suffer. And in winter season also we suffer. Chitosna sukha dukkhada. And the same thing, this fire in summer season, it is suffering. The heat is suffering. And in the winter season, the same fire is pleasing. Similarly, water in the winter season is suffering. But in the summer season it is pleasing. The same water, the same fire, sometimes it is suffering, sometimes it is pleasing, but the matter is the same. Why? Matras parasha. It is due to the touch of the skin. Because we have got the skin disease, I am this body, therefore you are suffering. Because you have become so nonsense, rascal, that I am this body. Jashyatu buddhi kunapi tidhatuke. Tidhatuke. This is the bag of three elements, kapha pitta bhayu. Kapha pitta bhayu. According to Ayurvedic system, they are called tridhat. So this body is made of material elements. Kapha pitta bhayu. The jashyatu buddhi kuna peti dhatuke. Sadhik kalatra disubhoma ijjadhi. Jatirtha buddhi shalile nakarhichi. Janesu avigni. Sayava gokar. So the more we are in bodily concept of life, the suffering is more. Nowadays, new things have developed. Nationalism, communism, uh, communalism, so many things. Uh, sufferings are more. Uh, we have seen in 1947 in Calcutta, Hindu Muslim riot. Uh, the more suffering, because one is thinking, I am Hindu, one is thinking, I am Muslim. Uh, but if one is advanced in Krishna consciousness, then they will not suffer. They will not unnecessarily fight because I am Hindu, because you are Muslim, that we have to fight. No. Because if both of them know that I am not this body, therefore I am neither Hindu nor Muslim, I am eternal servant of Krishna, then where is the suffering of Hindu Muslim life? The understanding is missing uh, because people are being educated to become more bodily conscious. Therefore, their sufferings are increasing. Sufferings are increasing. And if you reduce this bodily concept of life, then suffering also will be reduced. Uh, so those who are Krishna conscious, Krishna conscious means, here it is said, Madagata Chetasa. Naitana Madagata Chetasa. Madagata. Bhagavan said, those who are always thinking up in the mind, 
within in the heart madagata chet sa ha they are not suffering they are they are uh, they are not suffering in this way because uh, they know that even if i am suffering it is krishna's desire so they welcome just like kunti uh, queen kunti when krishna was departing taking farewell from kunti so kunti said my dear krishna when we are in full of danger at that time you are always present as our friend as our advisor now we are well situated we have got our kingdom we are well established so you are going away to dwarka no 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 this is not good better we may again go to that suffering so that we can remember you always so the devotee sometimes welcome suffering because that is an opportunity of remembering krishna very constantly tattin kampa susamik samana bunyana eva kritam vipak ah no when a devotee suffers he thinks that Uh, it is due to my past misdeeds, so I am suffering not very much, very little, on account of Krishna's grace. So it doesn't matter. So after all, it is everything in the mind, suffering and enjoying. So if a devotee's mind is trained now in Krishna consciousness, therefore he does not care for suffering. That is the difference. Uh, between a devotee and non devotee therefore it is said that tapanti vividha stapa na etan madgata chitasa that's like pullad maharaj so how much suffering he had to undergo uh, the five years old boy and his father was putting in danger uh, sometimes uh, under the uh, feet leg of the elephant sometimes throwing from the mountain sometimes on burning oil uh, sometimes uh, among the snakes and so many ways uh, but uh, he was silent uh, haridas thakur haridas thakur was a mohammedan by birth so he became a very good devotee and always chanting hari krishna that was his fault so the muslim kazi called him uh, that you are mohammedan you born in a such great family mohammedan family and you are chanting hindu hari krishna mantra what is this so he mildly replied my dear sir there are many hindus they also have become mahavidan so suppose i have become hindu so what is, what is the wrong uh, what is wrong there so kaji became very angry that uh, you are talking uh, before me all right so he was punished to be caned in 22 baja in front of 22 baja uh, that means he has to be killed by caning uh, <coughs> so it is understood when he was bitten by the cane uh, chaitanya mahaprabhu was on his back so he did not feel any suffering uh, <coughs> so there are many instances a devotee uh, had to suffer many suffering but uh, they did not take it very much when severe manner severely they tolerated and a devotee is educated to tolerate therefore in the sadhus symptoms beginning the titik sabha karunika they a devotee suffers at the same time he is very kind to these conditions so how to elevate them how to make them 
Krishna consciousness, this is karunika. These are the very primary features of a devotee's life. Uh, people put him into suffering in so many ways, uh, but he does not give up his job. His job is to spread Krishna consciousness so that others may become happy. Uh, just like Pallad Maharaj said, no, oh, my Lord, oh, I have no suffering. I have no suffering. Because I know the art, how to become happy. Tad vidya gayana amrita magna chitya. The same thing is described here. Hmm. Uh, Sinlanti kathayanti. The Pallad Maharaj said that I know how to become happy. Uh, how to become happy? The simply hearing about you and chanting about you. Sinlanti kathayanti. Just like here, two business is going on. You are hearing and I am speaking. Bodhantam parasparam mahatmana sumang prata daivi purgiti mas. Bhajanti. Uh, this bhajan means sinlanti, kathayanti, sabanam, kirtanam, Vishnu. This is bhajan. Uh, you simply hear about the Lord, you talk about the Lord, that is bhajan. Sabanam, then you can further make progress. Uh, sabanam, kirtanam, Vishnu. Sabanam, kirtanam is going on all over the world. Uh, some is hearing about some politician, other is speaking about some politician or some other man, some important man in the society. Savanam Kirtanam is going on. But they're suffering. But when the Savanam Kirtanam is pertaining to Vishnu, Savanam Kirtanam Vishnu, then he will not be suffering. This is the, he requires experience. It requires advancement. Then, uh, Prahlad Maharaj, as he says, the tadvijya gayana maha amrita magna chitta. Uh, because my mind is always absorbed in talking about him and hearing about him, therefore I am not unhappy. I do not, I know how to become happy. But you seem to be very unhappy. So he says, yes, I am unhappy because I see this tato bhimukha chetasa maya sukhaya bharamud bhato bhimura. These foolish people, simply for temporary so-called happiness, they are engaged in material activities. I am thinking of them only. That is my unhappiness. Otherwise, I have no unhappiness. So this devotional service, this line of action, is so nice uh, that if we practice, if we make advance, then even in this material world, uh, staying, there will be no more suffering. Uh, that is called Jivan Mukta. Jivan Mukta means uh, although he is in this body, but uh, he is not suffering the bodily miserable condition. It is, it is a question of absorption of thought. Uh, I have read in some paper that <coughs> uh, Mr. Stalin, the communist leader, uh, he had to undergo a surgical operation of uh, uh, operating on the belly. The doctor wanted to uh, what is called chloroform, but he said, no, there is no need. You can go on with your operation. So even in ordinary life it is possible because the mind is absorbed in a different way. Even a surgical operation does not disturb a man. Similarly, what to speak of spiritual life, if your mind is always absorbed in Krishna thoughts, Krishna consciousness, uh, at his state, Madhagata uh, Achitasa, always thinking of Krishna, and Krishna advises us. Uh, 
Ah, what is his advice? Malmala bhava mad bhakt. Mad jaji maag namaskuru. If you always think of me, there are many instances, uh, if we believe, there is another, if you don't believe, there is another. But there is practical also uh, that um, uh, these boys, European American boys, from their childhood, uh, then from their birth, they are accustomed to so many bad habits. But uh, for want of uh, those bad habits, they think it is impossible to live. Uh, not only it, ordinary man, I will tell you the story of one very big man, the Marquis of Jetland. Uh, the Marquis of Jetland uh, was talking with one of my god brother, the, the Lord, they are called Lord. He asked, Can you make me Brahmin? So, the, my god brother said, Yes, it is not very difficult. If you give up this bad habit, intoxication, illicit sex life, meat eating, and gambling, you can become a Brahmin. So he said, It is impossible. Yes. A very big man. He said, It is impossible. This is our life. Actually, we have got experience in the Western countries. This is their life. Even very, very old men, they cannot give up this. Ah. For want of this, it is a great suffering. But here you see practically these young boys, young girls, they have given up. There is no suffering. Take practical example. Ah. Uh, an old man, a very respectable gentleman, he was requested to give up these four habits. He replied, it is impossible. A habit is becoming possible for this boy. Uh, if they would have suffered for all of these illicit sex, intoxication, the boys are girls, then how they could remain with me? Uh, I am not a very rich man. I cannot give them nice shelter. I cannot give them nice food. But why? Because they are not feeling. They have no furniture. They are lying down on the floor. No bedding. No proper cloth. Because they are not suffering actually. Otherwise they could not remain with me. This is a fact. If they would have suffered, then like Lord Jetland, they would have also said, it is impossible to remain with Prabhupada. But they are not saying that. They are suffering from disease also. Still they are not living. They are not living. So, oh, Krishna consciousness is, is so nice. Madhga, they do not feel any suffering. Uh, it is practical. Others, they feel suffering. Uh, therefore it is said, tapanti vividhastapa na etan madhgata chetasa. Na etan. Therefore we should uh, accept this. What is that? Madhasraya katha. Katha, Krishna Katha. Oh, there are so many literatures, uh, especially Bhagavad Gita. Oh, that is open to everyone. Everyone knows Bhagavad Gita. So, if you simply hear Bhagavad Gita, uh, we can attain this stage of perfection, no more suffering. Uh, that is a fact. So, uh, just like Amuris Maharaj, uh, he made his life. Sabai mana Krishna padara vindayo bachang si vaikunta gunan vannan. He was a very responsible king, emperor of this world. And he was administering his uh, kingdom. At the same time, he was a great devotee. These are the exa- examples in this country. Uh, there are many kings like that. They are called Rajarsi. Uh, therefore, in the Bhagavad Gita, it is said, Imang vivasati jugang praktavan ahamabhyam manu ikha kavi bravit vivasan manu viprahu manu ikha kavi bravit evam param praptam imang rajarsayo vidyat. Rajarsi, the kings were 
although they are king raja is still they were as good as the great saintly person rishi uh, so maharaj of mauris he was also rajarshi he gave example although he was busy in his administration work still he was talking only of krishna uh, only sabai mana krishna padar vindayo bachangsi vaikuntha gunal varna so anybody you talk he'll talk about krishna this required uh, practice chaitanya mahapur advise all his devotees gramma katha na kohibe this is this required this is called advancement don't talk nonsense of this uh, material talk uh, what is the use what you will gain just like you open the newspaper what do you find the same thing the same plain class the same politician condemn another politician and something lost something gain something it is puna puna charvita charvana the same thing are being repeated in different way uh, so uh, what is the use of talking such thing uh, better if you want to talk talk on krishna talk on bhagavad gita talk on shrimad bhagavatam and enjoy life that is required uh, that is recommended here uh, madasraya katha mrishta sindanti kathayanti cha hmm. if you simply talk about krishna uh, and hear about krishna then that stage will come when there will be no more suffering uh, all is uh, anandamay abhyasa this is called anandamay in the vedanta sutra a living entity or krishna there anandamay uh, prachujji mart pratta uh, simply anand uh, when you are in pleasure transcendental bliss uh, there will be no more possibility of this material suffering uh, that is instructed here madasraya katha mishta sinnanti katha inti cha tapanti vividhasta pa na eta madgata madgata antar atmana there is also another statement in the bhagavad gita yogi naam api sarve saam madgata antar atmana there are many yogis but that yogi who is thinking of krishna always manmana bhava madgata madgata antar atma same yukta to in my opinion that is that he is the first class yogi not to show any magic uh, magic that is magic that if he does not suffer from any suffering that is the greatest magic but that will be done by a devotee uh, and krishna also recommend so our life should be this krishna consciousness movement is being spread only for this purpose what is this sinlanti kathayanti cha madasraya katha mrishta when we shall feel pleasure by hearing about krishna talking about krishna we must know that we are making progress on the path of perfection and at that time any kind of this material suffering will not be felt this is the practical effect of executing devotional service
Generally, people they are suffering. Uh, there is nobody in the world. Those who are materially engaged can say boldly that I am not suffering. Is there anybody? I challenge anyone. Can anyone say that I am not suffering? Huh? So everyone must be suffering. Uh, no, no. Why these anacin tablets are advertised? Painkiller. Because they are suffering. Uh, and not in this country, but in the Western countries, America, one takes at least one dozen tablets daily for mitigating suffering. Uh, tranquilizer, these, that, so many. They are advertised and they take. At last for sleeping. Uh, because they are more advanced. Uh, we are less advanced, that, uh, therefore we are satisfied only one table in anasin. Uh, but they are not satisfied with one table. There are dozens of tables. I have seen it. It is advertised in a subway a train. So many tablets are advertised. So suffering must be there. Uh, anyone who has got this material body has accepted suffering. 